All right, so pretty much got the old trans out. Playmakers. Okay. All the marvelous, kind of this spin it. Man at the coop, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it in the limit. I got some so we at the shop, you know what I'm saying? Got the lube. Um, I do want to talk about these. I got some new eyelids, the heroes. These are actually legit, not reps. I'll talk about that later though. I still got to fix my bumper, get my fitment issue taken care of, but that's not today's video. Today's video is about this bad boy right here. My new Synchro Tech, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> M Factory LSD. Um, longer, uh, what's it called? Final drive. Longer final drive. Fourth and fifth. So, quick little story on this. Um, my boy T Real, you know what I'm saying? He had a 10 second uh, race prelude. And for those of you who have been on the channel for a while, actually, I might throw a clip up. Um, when I went to IREF two years ago, I went to the track, he was actually there. Um, and his um, prelude was pushing about eight and some change horsepower. And this was the trans he was using. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> I am upgrading the clutch. Shout out to my man Daryl for that. I didn't really have much time to get this done. I didn't have time to order one. And he happened to have one, so shout out to him. Stage four competition clutch. Um, and yeah, I do have another surprise for y'all, though. Quick little surprise. Along with the new trans, you know what I'm saying? Your boy finally got them, yeah, you know sands. <laughs> got them slicks. So. Shout out to my boy T Real again. Same same dude that I bought the the trans from. These were the slicks that he were running on his prelude, and uh, they need a little polish, quick little polish. I'll tighten them up. You know how I do. Ain't tripping off that. But wait, there's more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't even trip. It's a little bit more. Boy got them young sands in the trunk too. Hey, boy got them skinnies. Well, that's the end of today's video. It's like nah. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm definitely excited to to bring this thing, put it on the track. Um Yeah, man. I I have fun with the car show stuff, man, but even just going to H Day, like being on the track seems like it's so much fun. And other thing too is I've never, I mean, every time that I've taken it to the track, I've just been so unprepared, street tires. Last time I went, I didn't even make a video out of it because I snapped an axle and it was just, I, I just really am ready to like see what this thing can really do. So with that being said, let's go ahead and throw that bad boy in here. So pretty much got the old trans out, even though this one looks newer. That is the old trans, obviously. We already went through that. So I got all the parts that I needed, the reverse sensor, speed sensor, the actual uh, cable bracket, 
the starter, um, oh, the actual hydraulic line for the clutch. Got all that swapped over to the new trans. Hit it with some good old super clean real quick. I usually use brake cleaner, but I didn't feel like leaving, so I used the super clean. And actually got it pretty decent. Um, I mean, I'm gonna be dirty in this thing up, so I'm not too worried about it. Like, I literally just put this trans in like a month ago, bro, and it's already filthy, so. I'm not really pressed to like paint it or anything like that. Just clean it up a little bit, get it in there. So, uh, yo, believe it or not, I actually got this trans out in about, what, 45 minutes, bro? Like that time lapse that I did, the last clip, that shit was actually like pretty quick. Um, I got this out in like 45 minutes. I mean, I've done it so many times now that it's kind of like, I'm like getting more and more efficient at it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, so I do have to put the new clutch in, take the old one out and put this one in and then this one will be ready to slap back in there. All right, so it is the next day. Um, yesterday in the last clip, I pretty much got everything put back together and the only thing I had left to do was to fill the trans fluid, um, which I did use. I was using RTF before, but I just went and got some, uh, <laughs> what's it called? Honda manual transmission fluid from the dealership because it's right there, opposed to waiting for the RTF online to get here. Um, and then right now, me and my man, you know what I'm saying, Clutch Kizzle, uh, we're bleeding the clutch. So I do want to show you guys a little trick for bleeding the clutch that pretty much consistently works for me. So I want to show you guys that real quick. All right, so if you're watching this if you and you never bled your clutch before, this little reservoir right here is what holds your clutch fluid. And the clutch fluid is not really clutch fluid, it's brake fluid, if you didn't know that, just off the, off the rip. So the little trick that I use is, so technically what you're supposed to do to bleed the clutch they have like little systems with that vacuum suck it and do all types of stuff. But the old fashioned way is, let me take this rag off. This right here, uh, let me see if I can get a better angle. This little piece right here is called the slave cylinder. Where the, where the actual reservoir is, that is actually the master cylinder, master clutch cylinder. And then this is the slave cylinder. So on the slave cylinder, there's a little nipple now that nipple, what you're supposed to do is you're actually supposed to fill the fluid, you pump the clutch, and then um, once you build some pressure, let's say like 10 pumps or so, you push the clutch to the floor, and then you open the valve, let the air come out, some fluid should come too, but mostly air, close it, and then you pump again. You basically repeat that process. So one thing that consistently works, anybody who's ever blood their clutch before knows that sometimes this shit can take forever. Like, literally forever i mean 45 50 minutes sometimes so one trick that i do is and this is a two-person type setup so kenny's the one pumping right now you know what i'm saying don't try to hide now <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> but uh he's 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 doing the pumping i'm doing the bleeding so pretty much what's going to happen is as he's pumping this is the tray trick you know what i'm saying as he's pumping I'm actually gonna push, uh, let me see if I get a better angle. I'm actually gonna push with my hand. You see how this little hydraulic, um, I don't even know, it's not a spring, but it's like a rubber boot around the little metal piece. So that is connected to the fork. What I actually do is I push inward on the fork as he pumps and I create tension. And as he's pumping, I can literally feel the pressure from each pump and I slowly let my hand out. And what I do is, once it, once I have tension when he's pushing the clutch in, I actually take the fork and I physically push it back all the way in. And what that does is that forces all the air out of back out of the reservoir. Um, this is just to get it started because to get it compressor. Hold on. Now what I was saying before I was really interrupted by the compressor um, is that I actually physically push that fork all the way in and that forces the majority of the air back out of the reservoir you can, you can physically see the bubbles coming out and 
the reason why I do this is because, like I said, again, anybody who's bled their clutch before knows that the hardest part to this is getting it started. So once you get this started, you don't have to do that. Then I do that about three to four times. And then once I get like solid pressure from the from the pedal, then we can start bleeding it from the nipple because because essentially you're going to have to finish like that. But at least to get it started, like I said, create resistance by pushing the slave cylinder in as they're pumping. And then once it pops all the way out, physically push it back in and you'll see the bubbles. If you do that a couple times, you'll get pressure and then you can start bleeding it the normal way, which is he pumps, put, uh, holds the pedal down. And while he's holding the pedal down, you open the, the valve, close the valve, and then you start pumping again. Just a little tray tip. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? GT350, you know the grind don't stop, even in between prelude projects. Uh, so yeah, I got the um, got the car back running on the ground, pulled it out. This stage four comp feels like OEM-ish compared to the Amazon one, good. but this one is a sprung, so I guess that's the difference. But uh, I'm going a little test drive real quick, make sure it goes through all the gears and just make sure everything's good. Not gonna be the best view, but it's the only view you're gonna be able to get for right now. So let's see what this joint hitting on. A little test drive, hit a little tap and tap. Now don't expect nothing crazy. It's, it says it's like 300 mile break in, so I might at least get the 300 in before I try to go crazy. Hold it. The clutch is so soft, bro. Short end, but. saw me going a little test drive um since this last clip uh, it's been about a week or so um, i probably got about 150 miles i haven't been driving as much as i wanted to but so far i like the clips um i can't give it an honest review quite yet because until i break it in and start ripping that joint you know what i'm saying i won't really know but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video Hit that like button, share it, and uh, you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that, and I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you.